Andre. And it's championship fight night here on Versus as well. Two Mexican warriors who have chased the dream since they were teenagers will battle for the IBF featherweight title. Cristobal Cruz and Orlando Salido headline our show tonight from the wintry confines of Eastern Washington. sometime around April. But Fight Night on Versus promises the most entertaining card. Championship fight. This for the IBF featherweight world title, Cristobal Cruz and Orlando Salido. A couple of guys who have been around the track. Demetrius Andre, the Olympian, will make his pro debut tonight. He is a hungry fighter. He'll take it on with Patrick Cape. Maxim Vlasov comes all the way from Russia to do battle with a tough guy from Houston named Don Mouton. Hello again, everybody. I'm Barry Tompkins. I'm playing the part of Nick Charles tonight. But you know Wally Matthews, of course, on hand for all the fights here at Versus. And let's talk first, Wally, about our main event, a championship fight. Cristobal Cruz is a guy who has been around the track, a warrior. Well, you know, they both have. And don't be put off by the fact that they got 20 losses between them because these are two guys who started boxing as teenagers. And I don't mean, you know, I'm talking about young teenagers. 14 years old for Cruz, 15 years old for Salido. Cruz coming off a big win against Thomas Michel in March. Now he's finally gotten here. It's been a long road to this IBF vacant title. And there you see Orlando Salido knocked out Renan Acosta last year in uh, Carretero, Mexico. It looked terrific doing it. This is going to be a heck of a fight, man. This is going to be a rocking battle. Yeah, I think it is. Too. Two guys with 28 years of experience. And then we're going to see a guy who has zero experience <laughs> as a professional. Demetrius Andre, a lot of people feel he got jobbed in Beijing. He's a guy on a mission. Yeah, he really is, and he obviously is taking a completely different route to where he is today, not fighting for a title yet, but embarking on maybe something special here. This is a kid who's got fast hands, punches and terrific combinations. He's a lefty and a guy who, unfortunately, like a lot of good amateurs, victimized somewhat by the computer scoring system in Olympic boxing. Yeah, so he is a hungry fighter coming in here, even though this is his debut fight. He's a guy that feels he's He's got something to prove, even though many people felt that he had a pretty darn good chance to win a gold medal back in Beijing. It didn't happen for him there. He hopes to wear a belt, he says, in three years. We're coming back. This Fight Night on Versus is brought to you by Saw 5. This Halloween, you won't believe how it ends. Saw 5 in theaters Friday. And we welcome you back. We are just about set to get started with our first fight of the evening. You can score the fight online. Just go to www.versus.com slash scorecard. You can score the fight right along with Wally Matthews and myself. So we're just about set to go with our first fight. It is Maxim Vlasov and Don Mouton. A couple of tough guys. Eight rounds in the super middleweight division. Don Mouton is a guy uh, that really impressed us, Wally, when we talked to him this afternoon. Yeah, he, he's a great, if he can fight as well as he can talk his fight, you know, we, we're in for something special here. But this is a guy who uh, claims that he fights like Joe Frazier and Mike Tyson, which is a pretty good combination. I'll say it is. And he's a guy who lost a couple of fights early in his career, but since walking away from the gym and then coming back to it, he's a guy who has not lost a fight, and he gets guys out of there in a hurry. And Maxim Vlasov is not your typical European stand-up, straight-up guy. No, he's not, and he, he's certainly a prospect in this division. Anybody that can make 160 pounds or thereabouts at six foot three is a guy to be reckoned with. He's a good stand-up boxer. He's not robotic. He's got a good one-two and a good left hook to the body. I think you're going to like what you see with this guy. So it should be a very competitive fight, and that's uh, the thing, of course, we're always looking for here. We're going eight rounds. Let's take a look at the head-to-heads here, brought to you by Saw 5, and Mouton got a late start in his career. He's eight years older than Vlasov, and, of course, he's also, I can't 
became an ad that I seven inches shorter than yeah, Vlasov. So that's, that's, that's a significant a, difference. A big factor, and he's a guy who wants to come at him. I know Vlasov is not going to have to look for him, and of course, it, it goes back to the old thing of Styles make fights. And Absolutely, and here are the rules that we will be using here tonight in Spokane: no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Only the referee can stop the fight, and neither fighter can be saved by the bell in any round. All right, with that, we'll get to it. Here's the ring announcer, Michael Williams. Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Northern Quest Casino as Fight Night on Versus presents a night of world-class professional boxing brought to you by Arthur Palulo's Banner Promotions and Rodney Berman's Golden Gloves Promotions in association with the Kalispell Tribe of Indians and the Northern Quest Casino. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your first bout of the evening scheduled for eight rounds of action in the super middleweight division. The three judges ringside scoring this bout will be Glenn Hamada, Tom McDonough, and Joe Macaluso. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, referee Bobby Howard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the solid black trunks and weighed in tonight at 164 and one half pounds. From Houston, Texas, he brings an impressive professional record with seven wins. All seven wins by way of knockout with only two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing dangerous Don Muta. And across the ring, his adversary fights out of the red corner. He wears the purple and red and weighed in tonight at 166 pounds. As a professional, he stands undefeated with 13 victories, no defeats, five victories by way of knockout from Samara, Russia, presenting Maxim Vlasa. Gentlemen. Okay, you both received your instructions in your dressing room. You know what I expect, a good, clean fight. Shake them up, get it on at the bell. There you go, good luck. Well, and with those uh, invisible instructions, we prepare. <laughs> Inaudible, anyway. Yeah, that's right. Hope they understood them. <laughs> Well, Vlasov has come a long way to be here. We'll talk a little bit more about that as this fight goes on. <laughs> kind of a shame. He shamed me a little bit because I was complaining about my trip to Spokane. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wait till you'll hear his. Well, he's not going to have to look for Don Mouton, at least if Mouton is as advertised. And here we go, round one. Scheduled for eight. See that right away, Mouton's first chore is going to be to, to pr and make up some of that distance because there's certainly, you know, a reach and a height gap there. And he's, he's trying to make it up by getting underneath that long jab of uh, Velasov. Yeah, Velasov keeps showing him that jab. In his corner, they tell him, take your time, don't rush. Vlasov has some movement, as we said. He's not the stereotypical European fighter. No, he's, he's not Ivan Drago, that's for sure. He's not robotic, but he is deliberate. I mean, he is deliberate in there, and he, he's, the times I've seen him, he's been a little bit of a slow starter, but once he gets those hands going, he's a very, very good combination puncher. So far, Mutat has been unable to reach him. He's hit him on the elbows a couple of times. There he gets there with the left hand. Mutan told us today that... Uh, when he hits guys, they don't want to even spar with him anymore. Now, the record says he's a very good knockout puncher. Seven KOs and seven wins. But, you know, you never know the caliber of the guys he's hit. Well, that's exactly right. So far, and the frustration level can set in, too, with a guy who has a, a good jab. And Vlasov has, has shown at least a reasonable jab so far. Not powerful, but it's there all the time. Yeah, it's, it's more of a probing jab, not really, not snapping it very much. Decent right hand by Mutan, and then... Almost turned himself around with the left hook. <laughs> you can tell Vlasov, pretty school good fighter. Shot. Yeah, he was good right here. Yeah, he is a well-schooled fighter, but he does have a tendency to leave his jab out there a little bit, and he does get hit with right hands over the top. Now, a little reddening on the right cheek of Vlasov. It was Mouton snuck a left hook in there off the, out of the corner. Go ahead, go ahead. 
Mouton being patient, much more patient than I expected we'd see him. Yeah, I, I kind of expected him to be a little more high pressure here because when you give that half step like he just did, you're actually moving right into Vlasov's punching range. I think he's been able to figure out how to get inside that jab of Vlasov right now. See, when you're on the end of his punches, you got a problem. Which he's been most of this round. See, he's slipping a little bit, but he's not he's not firing back. Vlasov seems to be getting himself in the in the better power punching range mm -hmm. here, too. Vlasov does not have a reputation as a big banger, but recently he's gotten his last three opponents out of there. So we come to the end of the first round. Round number two of a scheduled late rounder. I thought a pretty good first round for Maxim Vlasov. Oh, no doubt. And, you know, CompuBox bears that out. 99.